Hi guys, today I just want to talk about magnesium. Uh, this is a really good topic because a lot of people are really deficient in magnesium. In fact, it's actually been estimated that around 80% of the population are uh, deficient in magnesium. So magnesium is a mineral. It is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body and it's used for over 300 mechanisms in the body. So it's really important for a healthy functioning nervous system. It's really important for energy production. Um, it's involved in muscle contraction, um, healthy heart muscles, cell signaling. Um, it plays a structural role in bones, um, in cell membranes, um, in chromosomes. It's super, 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 super important. Um, and a lot of people are deficient. And the reason being a lot of people are deficient is because they're not getting enough magnesium, they're not eating enough fruit and vegetables because magnesium is in fruit and vegetables, especially leafy greens. And our soils are actually deficient in magnesium. So even though they're eating leafy greens, the leafy greens that they're eating are actually deficient. And this is due to farming practices. So they might not be eating, you might not be eating um, organic produce and this can, um, there be lower in minerals. Um, Australian soils are also lower in um, minerals like selenium and zinc and iodine. And this is because Australia is quite an old country, but also to do with our farming practices. So diet and farming practices, and then everyone is really freaking stressed. Mm. And stress uses up more magnesium. So the more we're stressed, the more magnesium we use up. So we're already deficient and then we're stressed. So then everyone's deficient as far as I'm concerned. Um, everyone benefits from a little bit of magnesium. Um, it, it always um, goes a really long way. And there's two ways that you can add it into your world. One is diet and the other one is supplementation. So I'm just gonna talk through deficiency signs. So muscle twitching is a really big deficiency sign of magnesium. You might get eye twitching or you might get um, muscle spasms in your calf or foot cramping or that type of thing, headaches, insomnia, not being able to sleep, not being able to fall asleep, um, constipation, anxiety, depression, uh, irregular heartbeat, these are all um, deficiency signs. And then there's quite a lot of conditions that can actually benefit from magnesium or bag, uh, benefits. So it's sort of have been shown to benefit from magnesium, I guess, supplementation or increasing your magnesium intake through the diet. And that is conditions like PMS. Um, and this is quite common. You, you probably know that if you are on your menstrual cycle or um, leading up into your menstrual cycle, you might crave chocolate. And this is probably your body being quite intelligent or it is your body being quite intelligent because it's craving something it needs and then you're reaching for the chocolate. The problem is that the chocolate you're reaching for isn't really high in magnesium. So raw cacao is really naturally very high in magnesium, but a lot of people aren't eating raw cacao, they're eating crappy dairy milk chocolate. So, which is really high in sugar and then that's you know, probably going to cause more deficiency. So um, PMS, magnesium supplementation can really help with PMS symptoms, headaches, insomnia, type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. Um, magnesium is really good for sugar cravings as well. Um, so if you're having a sugar, sugar craving, sometimes having some magnesium to actually um, counteract that. Um, high blood pressure is another big one because magnesium will actually um, dilate the blood vessels, so re therefore reducing your blood pressure. Um, osteoporosis is another big one, um, so um, due to its structural um, role in bones. Um, Preeclampsia, eclampsia, cardiovascular disease and asthma, these are all things that can benefit from magnesium supplementation. So foods that are high in magnesium are leafy greens, everything green, high in magnesium. Ideally organic, you know, like try and get as much organic produce as you can into you, um, not just from the pesticide factor, which is also important, but also from the mineral content factor. Um, cashews, lentils, raw cacao, as I said before, pumpkin seeds, basil, um, eat the rainbow. 
you know, like eat a colourful plate, get as much variety as you can into your diet and you're less likely to be nutrient deficient, especially in the minerals and B vitamins. Um, and then I'm going to just quickly touch on supplementation. Uh, there's lots of different types of magnesium when it comes to supplementation. Um, and some you will find will actually have a bit of a laxative effect and that's probably because you're not taking the right type. You need to again be careful with supplements and the excipients that are used in supplements. So a lot of the um, supplements that you buy over the counter, say you go up to chemist warehouse or something and buy something and you don't really know what you're getting, will have a lot of, a lot of excipients in it, meaning fillers. So to make a capsule, they have to put binders and fillers into the capsule in order to make it a capsule and it's full of often full of crap. So also I find that magnesium capsules don't always absorb as well. Um, and then of course the type of magnesium. So magnesium citrate and an amino acid chelate are the best types for absorption. Um, and then but it depends on what your condition is. So it depends on what you're using it for, which is why it's really important to work with someone and not just go and buy something off the counter or at least go to the health food shop and talk to someone at the health food shop because it can get really confusing and you can just waste your money to be quite frank. Um, and the other thing you need to know is if you are supplementing with magnesium and you are also supplementing with zinc, to not take them together because they interfere, the absorption interferes. Um, so that's pretty much it on magnesium. It is an amazing mineral and if you are deficient, uh, gosh, you, it's probably one of the most important things to get on top of and it can help with so many things and it makes such a big difference. And unfortunately, given the stressful lives that we run or we're living in today's environment, most of us are stressed in some form or another and therefore we are deficient in magnesium as well as not eating enough fruit and vegetables. So that's all. Um, if you have any comments, write in the comments below. If you've got any questions, write in the comments below or private message me and I will write back. Uh, like it, share it with your friends, with someone that you might know that might be deficient in magnesium. Okay, that's all guys. Uh, thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.